Welcome, fire sign. This is the business reading for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ophiosis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This week is um, um this is actually a um timeless reading, and it was uh, um uploaded in the third week of November. Um, 2020 whenever you pick up this reading and you're asking a question and this reading comes up in your feed that is the time welcome newcomers please remember to like and share and to come back um there is a lot this channel is open so go check out uh, what is going on on this channel it's a dollar 99 christmas is coming up a lot of you want to know what is happening in business and career for next year so fire signs we have the sagittarian and the ophiosis ophiosis and sagittarians who are going to be having birthday soon it's good to do a business and career business reading in order if you are a business person to see what your new year is looking like in business okay um what sort of a decision is there changes coming up or do you need to make some sort of a changes in your business is the time to order reading i also do facetime um where i can look at you can upload a picture to see which person to take on or which which person um to let go um i know there's a lot of reorganization that is coming up um so check out the channel to see all the services that i do i do love you guys please remember to like and share so we're looking at this week as some sort of apology um you fire sign is coming back to apologize to someone whatever that was happening and transpiring i see an apology you fire sign are really coming back to apologize for something that has happened and has transpired. So you can see the energy of apology. So I see a young person is apologizing to an old person. Some sort of a apology is coming in. This is a week where some of you fire sign is going to be apologizing for something that you have done. So on Monday, on Monday, we see the energy of hope. A lot of you are hoping um, that someone will accept your apology. Now, it could be some sort of a disruption, say, at the workplace um, the week before. Um, some of you could have uh, um, blamed someone or um, be very hard on someone. And I see you fire sign or hoping um, to return and apologize to someone for some sort of a miscommunication something like that that has transpired because you realize that this person um you know didn't mean um as some of you have taken up a situation where you had a hope um as some of it is misinformation miscommunication misinformation and i see you fire sign persons are trying to go back and hoping to go back and apologize for something that you have done now it is um a sense of is this person is ready for this apology um and um sometimes fire sign people you jump to conclusion and you gotta learn not to jump to conclusion it's always about the details and it's always about um the uh, you know the information it's always about details it's never, always about the in the uh, efficiency of uh, what is happening what is transpiring and i see that some of you could have jumped to some sort of a conclusion some sort of a misunderstanding and you're hoping that it doesn't get out of hand and i see you want to go back and apologize to someone but is it viable is this person open for it that is going to be um the uh, result so check out at the end of this video to see if it's good to do it or not on Tuesday, I see transition, the energy of the cross. So on Tuesday, a contract could be ending. Okay. Um, for some of you, um, not all of you, some of you, some sort of information is coming in, um, that a contract could be ending though. And on Wednesday, you gotta be aware of some sort of a theft. So someone could have stolen some sort of a information and they're going to be um, catching this person. Whoever this person is and whatever has transpired, they're going to be realizing that there was a huge theft that has created by a friend. Whoever this friend is or whoever this person is, 
Um, some of you are going to be finding it out. It could be on the work floor, some sort of a um, situation. Some of you on Tuesday, a friend could be um, advising you of a new business opening that is going to be coming up. Some sort of a new business that is going to be coming up. Um, um, some of you could be getting some sort of a, a recommend, um, rec recommendation, but it's more of someone is saying, Hey, um, a job offer is open. Do you, uh, are you hoping for this? Okay. So that is going to be, um, happening on Tuesday. I see people are going to be staying faithful to some of you. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a lot of you fire sign are trying to stay faithful, um, to people who you had a good collaboration with. So it could be colleague, um, employer, employees. You're going to try to stay faithful to them. You're going to try to apologize for some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. You're going to try to keep some sort of happiness uh, on the work floor. I see a lot of you trying to do that. Keep uh, um, some sort of a balance on the work floor. So this week is about uh, um, keeping the peace. So whatever is transpiring, you fire sign wants to keep the peace in this week. Whatever is coming up and transpiring, I see you fire sign or trying to keep the peace. So on Wednesday, they're going to be finding out that um, some sort of a contract, a huge tip where documentation, information, they're going to be finding out that some of you fire sign had something to do with this. They're going to be finding out that you fire sign, whatever is happening and transpiring, they're going to be realizing that fire sign people has something to do with a huge tech, a contract. Some of you fire sign, um, have created some sort of a contract and was using this. And I see truths is going to be coming out. Um, or your, or your friends are going to say, um, it's not really friends, but it's like employers. How are they going to be seeing this? How are the employees going to be seeing this? Some of you um, um, in the, the department that you work or in the company that you work, uh, they are going to be uh, um, connecting you uh, guys with some sort of a misfortune where there was a huge theft, but it's a theft of a contract, okay? They're going to be realizing that some of you have been either using the company information, either taken from the company, or you have um, um, access and um, copy some sort of a documentation or some sort of a um, misuse of a company policy. But it is going to be coming up. And um, they see it, corporate see it as a tip. So if you work in a government institute or organization, this could be also coming up. And they're taking it very serious. So I see a lot of you are trying to figure out whether or not your contract is going to be extended. It's as if this has transpired and somehow your information or um, you were caught up in this and, they're tr and you're trying to figure out if I apologize, will I still stay? You know, that sort of a situation is coming up. On Thursday, I see a lot of you um, are hoping for either a promotion, either um, an employee to forget some sort of a misunderstanding. You're showing, um, you're here showing um, an apology. You're here hoping you'll be nice um, to this person for some sort of a misunderstanding that has transpired. Um, I see you're hoping that this person will forget what has transpired. So there is a lot that is transpiring, especially for you fire sign people. It's as if you fire sign people are on top or, or on the edge of, uh, you know, your stool in this week because it is as if uh, you want to bring back peace in a department, in a corporation, um, with people. And you want to bring back peace, but uh, is this because they're, they they have found out that there was some sort of a thing you could have found out, someone else could have found out. Okay, on Friday they're going to be finding out a, a huge misconduct in a company, a very very huge misconduct in a company. They're going to be finding this out on um on Friday. So how is this going to be coming up? Is that they're going to be finding out that. 
um, people information and documentation was copy. Clients got was a double charge for service. They're going to be finding out a huge misconduct um, that uh, you fire sign people or connected with or you could be finding it out or someone else could be finding it out but i see that you are the guys who are apologizing so it is a sense of uh, it could be found out by someone else and then um a resolution you're trying to resolve whatever that has transpired some of you are going to be hoping that a friend doesn't get fired because um they're going to be finding out that a friend has created some sort of a fraud or has a, um, created some sort of an issue by using company information to acquire wealth. And this is going to be coming out and they're going to be finding out um, that a lot of people that was in management position have used their powers in the wrong way. And I see that you managers are going back and trying to apologize to the people at the head, but I'm not sure what is going to be coming out. So it depends on what come out in your energy after this reading that is going to be telling you whether or not you're going to be getting out of the situation, whatever that was happening and transpiring. So first, let's look at the Aries. So, so I see some sort of a help is going to be coming in. I see a lot of people giving and receiving. So um, you Aries could be the one that is hoping for some sort of a help to come in. You're hoping for some sort of a financial help or support. Whatever as transpiring, I see a lot of hope. You Aries are really, really open, hoping for some sort of a help to come in. So whatever is transpiring, whether it's on the work floor, um, or you are a business person. I see you're hoping for financial help. I see you're asking for financial help or you're, you're hoping because the energy of hope is here with the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is about hoping that you receive some sort of a financial stability. Um, that you wanted to make some sort of a changes in your world. Um, so if whether or not you have your own business or you're just someone who is um, supporting other people on a team, you're really hoping for some help. A lot of you could be on the stress, um, overwork and on the paid. OK, and you're hoping for some sort of an extra um, to come in. Six is about uh, help. It's about hoping to help someone or give help to a situation. Another six comes up. So it's all about the materialistic world. It's about the materialistic stability. Believe and success is going to be coming up. So this is coming up for the Leos. The Leos have the, also the energy of six and it's purple. Now, whatever is happening and transpiring, purple is about some sort of an ending, some sort of an ending, and you're looking for better water. If you notice, uh, um, some of you Leos were going through a really hard time and you're on this uh, new horizon. You're looking for a new horizon. You're looking for a new job. You're hoping that some sort of a new job offer will come up because some of you could have received a message last week that it, um, your contract is not going to be renewed. So I see you're kind of ending this uh, um, period and looking for a new um, horizon for yourself. If you notice, you are moving forward and hoping that some sort of a new horizon, some sort of a new stability open up for you. So this week, 666 um, is here. And for you, Leos, it's about believing in yourself that there is new opportunities uh, Ahead, okay, because it's as if some of you have, as if, uh, yeah, it, it's you know, the world is ending because uh, some sort of a contract has ended, some sort of a position has ended, and you need to focus and take this opportunity. If you believe that you're going to be receiving a new contract, uh, then it will come in. If you are um, in imbalance in what you think that is going to be transpiring, you have to know that there is hope beyond the horizon because there is a um, white light. So a lot of you Leos are going through some sort of a situation where you're hoping 
for people to recognize your work or recognize a situation. Some of you Leos are trying to apologize for something what you have done. Um, some of you Leos will successfully overcome some sort of a situation, but I see a um, re location relocation is coming up for you leo so um some of you leos are going to be receiving some sort of a message that uh, your contract could uh, be not uh, extended and i see you need to look at the positive uh, of what is transpiring and know that as you leave this door is closed another door will open you gotta believe in it you gotta believe um Sagittarian blooming is coming up for you Sagittarian um this is number 20 is about judgment some sort of information is coming out now Sagittarian you could be the one that is going to be finding out some sort of a theft or some sort of a um contract breach of contract um so it could be you being involved or it could be um however way you Sagittarian are involved. So Sagittarian, you could be finding out a theft or you could be finding out a breach of conduct. Now, 20 is always about some sort of an information and you Sagittarian could be finding out that a huge theft and a, and a contract was copied or some sort of a documentation was copied. Um, were you involved? Do you have anything to do with this? It is going to be coming out. So you have to be aware of what is happening and transpire. Blossom mean light is going to be shedding on a huge theft that there was double contract that was created. And I see, um, it could be in government institution or, um, financial institution, mortgage company, um, city all a whole lot immigration they're going to be finding out um something that you um sagittarius work permit um so it is different organization but these are like uh, government institution organization that is going to be finding out that there was uh, some sort of a theft uh, that was created and contracts were doubled and this is going to be coming out in this week so sagittarius you got to be aware um about what is happening um, is it that you are going to be finding it out? What is transpiring? Some truth is going to be coming out about a huge theft and uh, corporate information and double um, contracts that was created. They're going to be finding out. Ophiosis, you have the green energy. Um, they dream and decision. So Ophiosis, you're going within number seven. Number seven, so Ophiosis. Uh, um, the Ophiosis people are going to be receiving some sort of a new contract and an apology is going to be coming in to you, Ophiosis. So whatever is happening in transpiring, we can see, um, what the energy is that is going to be affecting, um, you guys and, uh, um, Sagittarius is going to be a week. So let's hope that you're the one that is seeing the double contract and not being caught up in this situation because Sagittarian, a whole lot is going to be coming out and uh, um, it has to do with a theft, a friend, um, um, some sort of an employer, colleague. Um, it could be that you have created some sort of a double contract for some sort of a business person. So go back and look and see who you do business with because I see this is coming up for the Capricorn Capricorn, Taurus, men, and Virgo men. So you, Sagittarian, could have created some sort of a double contract for the um, hurt sign people, businessmen, especially businessmen, and they're finding it out in this week. Um, Ophiosis is going to be a very good week. You're on the right part, whatever you're doing. Um, it is a week of the seven uh, multiple opportunities is going to be coming up for you, Ophiosis. In this week, it's going to be a really, really powerful alignment of energies. So um, it is going to be good. So um, Ophiosis, open up to the new possibilities that is going to be coming in. And remember, Ophiosis, you were born 29th of November until um, the 17th of December. Ophiosis, your birthdays are coming up. It is good if you um, are a business person or you are looking to start your own business, do a business reading. You will find out 
what new directions to go in this is positive so Ophiel says you are going to be coming out of this week 666 a lot of you Aries and Leos are having issues and problems you regret um, Aries you regret a situation that uh, you regret a situation that has to do with international business you're hoping for some sort of a new stability Leos you an uh, end of a contract is coming in for you Leos um, the six of swords is an end and you are looking for a new horizon um, Sagittarius, some sort of information is coming out that you Sagittarius have made some sort of a double contract, um, a whole lot of double contract with business for businessmen that is going to be coming up. And uh, Ophio says this is a absolutely fabulous week because multiple opportunities is going to be coming up uh, for you, Ophio says. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please remember this is a general reading. Um, not everything that is in this reading will affect you. Um, so, um, feel yourself because, um, it is a situation where a whole lot is transpiring in this week and a whole lot of you are trying to balance out situation and bring peace back in your world and in your career world. I gotta go. Please like and share these videos. Namaste until next time.